guys, you know what time it is. Ah, the Namek Goku World Tour continues. <laughs> um, all right, so I wanted to do just sort of a quick follow-up to um, this ranking video I did right here. Right, where I ranked every character in Dokkan until we get to Namek, Super Saiyan, Goku. Now, this is just something that came to me... Uh, again, this all stems from the initial 200% showcase I did. Um, and the sort of reception that I got a lot of it from. Just how people were sort of just like... I felt like vastly overrating Namek Goku, who is definitely a very powerful character. But uh, I don't think he's within like the top 10 best units that can completely dictate the fight. Which I feel like most of the top 10 characters potentially could do. Right, so I just wanted to, like, I had this idea of doing this, and I wanted to give it a try. You guys know, I've never really done this before, right, where I've kind of just, like, ranked, like, every unit, like, in order. The reason I don't do this is because this is very, like, subjective, I think. Like, I feel like if you're grouping the characters into, like, Dokkan Fest LRs or, like, TUR or something like that, you could have a bit more of, like, like something that I, I feel like could like, be agreed upon, or, like, you know, it could be a little bit closer to what, like, is probably the actual reality. This is very tough, because they don't drop, um, I don't know, Easy A Tech Vegito Blue, they don't drop him with the intention that he's competing with, like, you know, LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta or something like that, or, like, 19 and 20 are not dropped in order to compete with other characters. So it gets very difficult to sort of, like, rank them, like, one to, like, infinity, right? That's very tough. Um, I do think, like, a tiered system would be much better anyway, right? Sort of, like, a Z tier, then maybe, like, an S plus and an S and stuff like that, right? Like, that probably would be a little bit more efficient, right? And it's just, you know, kind of grouping characters into groups, and it's, like, you know, like, I don't know, like... Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku to, like, Namek Goku. Like, you kind of interchange, like, a lot of these type of characters or something like that, right? I feel like that does work a lot better. Um, now, I did want to do a follow-up on this. There's other things I, I saw... I, I want to address, I think, the most common sort of points that people made with my list. Um, we'll jump in, take a look at a couple of the comments. Uh, I'm going to tell you all this right here. Uh, it's very difficult for me... Like, I don't like to just do community reactions every single day, right? I use, I don't do that type of stuff usually, but I mean, <laughs> I might, you know, I feel like a follow-up might be a good idea. <laughs> let's, uh, let's take a look at what we got right here. And of course, let's start out very, very self-aware with our meme right here. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, um, here's the list I came up with. I mean, looking at it at a glance, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with this. Right, like, I could put this up, I could stand behind this knowing that nearly every comment is just going to be like, this is the worst list I've ever seen. Because this is not, no one could make one of these that people would like. It's impossible. Like, like this, it can't be done. Um, but, like, I look at this, I feel like I, I like this, right? Like, the only thing, I feel like it is a little bit, like, once you get to, like, 26 right here, it's like Vegeta, Kid Gohan, Namek Goku, Vegito Blue... I feel like this, th this is where I, I, I struggled with a bit, like, I, like, Vegeta, like, above, like, Tech VB, and, like, you know, Kid Gohan is in there, Kid Gohan could be very effective, and then, of course, Namek Goku, right, with good RNG, Namek Goku could be very dominant defensively and offensively, like, that's where it starts to get, I think, very close for me, right, it's kind of in here, but for the most part, I, I feel very comfortable with this, like, People could sit there and tell me I don't know what I'm talking about all day long, which is fine. Uh, but, like, I'm ready to take all that, right? Like, that's that's going to happen, making a video like this. Um, this, I feel like, is a good representation of my experiences in the game, right? I mean, keep in mind, I've got all these characters rainbowed. I've got them all linked level 10. Uh, no one else has that. Like, no one else rainbows all of these characters immediately. So my experiences with all these characters are them at full power, right? And it's like, you know, contrary to uh, what happens a lot of times in these comments, uh, I do know what I'm doing in the game. I, I, uh, I know how to play Dokkan. It's I, crazy, but I, <laughs> I, I, I feel pretty um, comfortable in my ability to beat these events and stuff like that. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so let me talk about a couple of the common things I saw. One big one a lot of people had was Tech God Goku. Now, I, I could probably slide Tech God Goku in here, probably. But the thing of he him he's very difficult, I think, in particular to rank, because it's almost like there would be two rankings, right? Him, 
against a pure Santa movie boss character and then him not against a pure Santa movie boss character. And I can tell you guys, I don't use him if it's not like, so like the GT red zone, I do not use God Goku because he usually gets turned into dust, right? He gets destroyed. He is not like a top tier godly character in like red zone content without that damage reduction of his activated. Really what he is, is an upgraded tech Khalifa, right? But I don't, I was never calling tech Khalifa. Oh, she's a top 10 best unit in the game. I, I don't think so. Right. That's a, it's a very niche character. It's very difficult to again, rank him in here. I mean, against, he's probably the second best unit in the game against the tough. I, I should pull up his info. I'm talking about him. He's probably the second best unit in the game for the toughest fight in the game, though, Broly. Um, I would say the number one best unit in the game for the Broly fight is definitely Vegeta and Trunks, easily, for sure. Uh, but God Goku is number two. I mean, this God Goku, he is very good, but I don't... I, I, I don't I don't know where I would rank him. Because it's like, it's literally like, yeah, against this, he's, you know, a literal top character. Without it, I... I he's not too crazy. He could be effective. Um, if you could use his seal... Right, so like maybe like a super battle road stage. Um, even if he doesn't have his damage reduction, it'll be a little bit better. But you know, in these really tough red zone fights, I I, I don't know, man. I I do love the rainbow key sphere changing. Right, I mean he's essentially uh, Tech Khalifa, except way better. He's an upgraded Tech Khalifa. That's exactly what he is. Um, but I I I don't know. Like I'm comfortable him not being on here. Sorry. Uh, go take him against Omega, man. He can get clapped up, right? Like he, it's very easy for him to just be like, oh, well, we lost. Thanks, God, Goku. That's very, very simple. I have felt like uh, the LR Gods team really does make good use out of this guy. And I definitely, it, it felt tougher, right? Because I actually did, oh, I closed the, uh, I did this video. Here, hold on. I always do, um. These right here where I take the, the, the team and I know what in the entire red zone. This was with the gods team against the GT side of things. It was definitely... Some of these fights here, um, I felt like were actually very difficult, right? Rildo was kind of a tough fight, believe it or not, with the gods team, right? Baby what, what, you know, what was definitely a difficult fight because we had double uh, tech gods right there, right? And then, of course, Omega... I had a lot of difficulties with... Omega was really tough to beat. I had a lot of difficulty beating Omega. Um, and it's like the lack of God Goku, I think, certainly uh, hurt um, in, in some of those fights, for sure, right? So we do want to keep that in mind. Um, so there's God Goku. Uh, another thing, people were losing their mind. Uh, I saw some people complain about Raccoon and Goldo. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, where are they bad? Nowhere. It's like, yeah, you have to restrict them to one team. I don't think that really matters so much. The way the game is now structured with these 200% leader skills, it's like most of these characters have only got one or two good teams. In the future, this could change for sure, right? Um, if we're talking about like major characters, we're, we're going to talk about him in a second too, Physical Super Saiyan 3. Outside of him, who he is on literally, like he's on like the last like five Dokkan Fest teams Outside of, like, take out, like, AGL Cell. He's on, like, the last five of these teams or something like that. Outside of him, basically every other character has only got, like, one or two top-tier competitive teams. Now, this unit dominates everything. This is maybe, like, the best Super Battle Road unit in the game. They're up there, right? Golden Freeze is probably bet a bit better in Super Battle Road. But, like, you're greatly lowering attack. You are guarding, because you're going to be rocking Ginyu, of course. Um, they have a high chance to stun the attacked enemy. Um, and then they also seal the attacked enemy. It's like they will completely control any Super Battle Road or Battlefield fight. You guys know um, the current toughest boss in Battlefield right now um, is Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan Broly. He is very difficult. You can very easily beat him with the Ginyu Force, and this unit right here is a huge factor. Why? If you can debuff the enemy, this character is a god, right? And, you know, guess what? Against Red Zone Broly, Red Zone Omega, all these fights, this unit does not take damage. This unit sits in slot one. You don't want to overrate the value, or excuse me, you don't want to underrate the value of slot one characters. I mean, look at my top list right here. You're slot one a lot of the time. Uh, this guy could be slot one uh, deeper into the fight. 
uh, so can these. I mean, this is the definitive slot one character right here. These guys can be, depending upon the situation, right? A lot of these units, go once Gohan comes out, he's slot one. EGL Cell, a lot of times, can function a slot one. You go through a lot of these characters, you see a lot of lot, slot one action up here towards the top. Um, and I, I feel like Raccoon and Goldo, like, if you choose to underrate this unit, you're just being a baby, right? Like, it's simple. Just because a unit is an LR, just because they're a Dokkan Fest, does not guarantee that they are better than a banner unit or this character, right? They can... Dude, Vegeta and Trunks, I think, is easily number one right now. I don't think that they're, like, 80 times better than Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, and the Gods, but I... I, like, if you're disagreeing with that, I just feel like you just don't have the experience with this character. I'm sorry. This, this feels like the... Cl it's clear they're number one. But, like, next month, they could be three. Very easily, right? If they drop final Spirit Bomb Goku that kills Kid Buu and then LR Kid Buu, like, those could be one, two in a heartbeat. And then Vegeta and Trunks all of a sudden are three, right? And then all of a sudden the gods are five. Very fast. It could go like that. So... Uh, I, I feel like one thing is people get too caught up in like, oh, this character was super good. No, they're still, they're, they're top five. They have to be. No, dude, like things change. Moves fast. It's a gotcha game. This is not like, oh, they dropped this character a year and a half ago. He's still God. The only character that's really like that is this guy. <laughs> Tech Gohan. Outside of him, like all these characters are within pretty much like the last year, right? Like what character is not in the last year? Um... I mean, because these guys easy age just, you know, only in March. Uh, the only character that's not in the last... Janemba's like exactly a year ago, right? Kid Gohan. I guess I, guess I have Kid Gohan in here. He was last uh, May slash June. Um, and then Tech Gohan, of course, is July of 2020. It's insane. Besides Tech Gohan, he's just a complete anomaly, right? Um, they actually, I would, I would argue that they did mess up with him. They made him too good. Um, besides him, right? Like characters age out fast. So you just got to accept it. Um, and then the other character I saw physical super saiyan three Goku. Listen, I don't ever want to call him overrated because I feel like he is that good. He can dominate as effectively as people talk about, but I, he is just, he's not, on the level of these guys up here. No, no way. I, I I, don't think Super Saiyan 3 Goku is not performing better than Transform Cell or Exchange Gohan or the gods or these characters, right? Like, I saw a lot of people talking about physical Super Saiyan 3 Goku being too low, and I don't think so. I mean, here's, here's my experience with this Goku. You get your first super attack off. He does a lot of damage because, you know, he's got a 70% chance to crit. But then he goes normal, 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 right? That's what always happens with me. Now, people will be annoying and they'll go, oh, you gave him a full dodge build. That doesn't change what I just said. He supers normal, normal, normal. I, uh, your build will not change that, right? For me, I, I don't know. I maybe it's just it's just a me thing, a skill issue for me, I suppose. Where I never this never like procs for me, dude. Like this guy, Namek Goku, Tech VB, these type of characters, because that's what Physical Super Saiyan 3 is. is He's got similarities to that, that same type of thing, right? Where it's like, on any given turn, this guy could quad super and nearly anything is dead against him. And on a turn where this guy quad supers defensively, he's starting to get to a really good level as well. But I I don't think that this guy, you know, he's mostly just raw damage. What, what else is he doing? He's like a raw damage character. When you get multiple super attacks defensively, he could start to be a bit better. But this this guy's just damage. Like, I'm not putting him above a lot of these characters. Like, Majin Vegeta, I'll definitely take Majin Vegeta or Physical Super Saiyan 3 Goku now with Vegeta and Trunks in. Majin Vegeta can tank those hits so good. Yeah, Goku can run laps around Majin Vegeta in terms of damage, for sure. But Majin Vegeta being able to take these hits, it just means that Goku is going to struggle badly and be exposed. The next time we get difficult, new difficult content, a level above the red zone. Majin Vegeta will still be effective in the next content after the red zone. Keep that in mind, right? Like, Goku is just a damage character. Like, I don't, I don't, you know, he can get his stuns in, sure, right? But, like, that's for Super Battle Road. The other thing, too, is that, th again, this is mostly a me thing, I would say, but this is my experiences with the character. This is not free for me. You can go through so many runs I've done 
I struggle to get this off a lot. I just do. It's like, I don't, I don't know, man. Uh, it, it's so funny. When this guy came out, I said, ah, this could be inconsistent getting this. And people jumped me, telling me, I don't know what I'm talking about, blah, 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 blah. And sure enough, me using this character, yeah, a lot of times this can be inconsistent. But you don't want to pretend like you have this guy turn one, because you don't. And he does massively upgrade when he transforms, for real. He gets way better. So, it's like, I, I like Super Saiyan 3 Goku, like, right where he is, right there. Um, and I, if Kid Buu gets a proper 200% team for him, I'm gonna like him better than Super Saiyan 3 easily. Easily, I will. That's the other thing, too. Dude, the, the, the talk about Kid Buu and Janemba, I mean, I get it, because they don't have teams, but, like, these characters, like, y'all, I feel like a lot of people don't, like, <laughs> clueless talking about Janemba and Kid Buu. If they get a proper lead, they're some of the best units in the game. Both of these guys could jump up to potentially top 10, like, like contenders. So, like, I, I don't, I'm not interested in listening to Janemba and Kid Buu slander. It's stupid. If you want to say they don't have a team, they don't have a partner, yeah, I agree, for sure. But, like, if you know what happens when they get that, right? That. <laughs> to Broly and all them bosses. Let's take a quick glance at the comments. Um, that was a long 16-minute intro, I guess. Um... I wasn't really, so, oh, okay, I, I guess this is the thing I saw a lot, too. I, I saw, because I was looking at some comments, right, and people were saying that, like, I'm, like, trolling the community, and I'm just, like, you know, like, not even really believing what I'm saying. I'm just, you know, getting money and views and stuff like that. Like, n n no, dude, like, I, I, I stand behind this list. I feel comfortable with this, and I feel comfortable with Namek Goku around 28. I'm not just spouting bullshit. This is what I believe. Like, that, the, the thing that a lot of people don't like is that, like, if I say I believe something related to this game, I'm going to stand by it. I don't care if everyone disagrees with me. Yeah, I don't care. Y'all are wrong. <laughs> Guess what? I'm right. Y'all are wrong. And I'm not going to change that. Uh, I, like, I, I don't know. I, I did have fun making this. I'm probably not going to do another one of these again anytime soon unless there's some highly controversial unit. But I doubt it. Because this is tough. This was not easy to make this, right? Um. These characters are just all so, so different. Here, let me get rid of this. We don't need this. All right. Um, it, it just, the deeper we go on, the more subjective it really gets to. It's, I don't know. Um, uh, sure. I mean, it's, again, it, it's, it's very tough to do, right? Like I, well, let's see, let's see. Um, many units I said were bad. Uh, I mean, Namek Goku is still powerful. Uh, like, the thing about Namek Goku is people... A lot of times... Like, Namek Goku, when he dropped, he was the best unit in the game contender. And he's not even a year old yet, right? Like, he came out last August. And I, I last August, was rating him as... I thought he was number three, right? And what's funny is I, UI Goku won at the time. I think Full Power Freeze was two at the time. And I think Namek Goku was three at the time. It's just... The way the game has changed, has evolved with 200% leader skills and red zone. As you got, again, I thought this was one, two, and three last August. Now look at it, right? Like, I, I feel like I would put a lot of these guys up here. But to be fair, most, like, these are, what is the first unit that's not 2022 here? Let me take a look. Um, this, 19 and 20 is the first unit I get to that's not 2022. Uh, right, this unit was a banner unit from 2021, um, and then Future Gohan was an EZA that came out in 2021, so it's like, you know, it, this is what happens, right, power creep, you know, it's not, it's not that Namek Goku sucks balls, or he's terrible, or his design is the worst ever, it could have been better for sure, but it's just, you know, more units keep coming out, people just need to understand that, you know, depending upon what happens with power creep and stuff like that, characters can get hard replaced very fast. I could do this. Um, so, like, LR killing Khalifla. I think LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. STR Gogeta. I think AGL Super Vegito. I was not as knowledgeable at the time of AGL Super Vegito and Int Buhan. But I don't think I would have agreed. Because there was... That was a huge argument back in the day. We're talking the end of 2016. Was AGL Super Vegito versus Int Buhan. I would have said, I feel like I was on AGL Super Vegito's side of that one. Um, 
I think AJL UI Goku was the best unit, of course, at one time. LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Vegeta and Trunks. I feel like no character was ever as dominant as STR Gogeta was on release, though. I feel like, it, and the way the game is structured, you can't beat that either, I would say. Um, if AGL LR Gohan EZAC could profit, yes, for sure. I mean, if AGL Gohan could become a strong slot win character, yes. But keep in mind, Namek Goku is a amazing partner with them. Super Saiyan, prepare for battle, fierce battle, legendary power. You run this guy, them in slot one, Namek Goku in slot two, like that's that's all you need. And it's like, what what are Namek Goku's other links he wouldn't be getting? Um, is Golden Warrior experience? Does he have experience fighters? And what what is the last one? Wait, what? My my brain. Same Warrior Race, Golden Warrior. Okay. And Kamehameha. It does, like, the, none of the these are just attack, like, like, that's the thing, like, no, no, I, see, I would disagree with this, no, 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 because Goku already has what he needs, which is Vegeta and Trunks, right, because Vegeta and Trunks, uh, we, and I'll keep him up just in case, but, uh, Vegeta and Trunks, again, have Super Saiyan, prepare for battle, fierce battle, legendary power, that's good enough, right, and prepare for battle is the one link Namek Goku has that gives him defense, offense is not his problem, this guy is better, not if he gets more offense, which AJL Gohan would give him the same way you're racing Kamehameha. This guy's better with more defense. You know what, actually, if AJL Gohan would easy eight and then he would support, like, Goku family with, like, 30 or 40% defense or something like that, that is how Namek Goku could get better. Would be a slot one, you know, Super Saiyan character like this. Um, who would also give him extra defense. Because this guy's problem is he starts off pitiful defensively, and it's it's very difficult for him to get good defensively, right? Because people can say, oh, he's so good if he just triple supers every turn. That's not common for him to just triple super every turn, right? That's kind of the same thing I talk about with, like, Tech VB. You know, uh, same thing with Physical Super Saiyan 3, right? Like, he does. this guy doesn't just quadruple super every single turn. That's not how it works, right? There's a lot of factors into that. Um, yes, but I mean, this video did, I, I, this video was me giving Majin Vegeta his reach around, right? Because if we're going Dokkan Fest TURs, so I now have him, let's see, two, three, four, I'm at five, right? I'm stupid, give me a second, yeah, one, two, three, four, yeah, five. If I did a Dokkan Fest TUR list right now, Majin Vegeta at fifth. You know, that's uh, like that, that, that shows where he's at. I I'll do a new Dokkan Fest TUR list probably like the first week of August. Cause we should get another Dokkan Fest TUR on JP probably on the 30th or the 31st. We should see LR merge Zamasu on the 20th. Um, and then a new Dokkan Fest TUR on the 30th or the 31st. Right. So, uh, we'll look at a few more here. Um, yes. Yeah. But it's like, I, Banner units, it's just that they they don't drop like these LRs and they're the best forever, right? Like, they're constantly pushing shit forward. The reason they do that and the reason they have to do that is so people will spend, right? Like, if they drop Namek Goku, right, his exact release date is August 28th. If they're dropping characters that are coming out right now who are worse than Namek Goku, why would I spend money to get the new character if I've got Namek Goku, right? Like, it's literally just that simple. They want you to want the new characters, so you spend for the new characters, right? That's why the new shit is usually better than the old shit. It's it's just that simple. Uh, list is very fair. Okay, okay, I appreciate it. I, I tried. It was tough. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is a good spot. I, I agree, I agree. I mean, you know, I, I saw people upset that Kid Gohan is there, but, like, Kid Gohan can really impact the fight, I think, way more than Namek Goku with his defensive support, his key... Kid Gohan, like Namek Goku, will start off very weak defensively, for sure. Like, he's got the same issue that Namek Goku does. And whereas Kid Gohan oftentimes is doing one, two, three, maybe four million attack stats, Namek Goku's usually starting out at seven million, 12 key supers, right? So, like, that's a big difference there. Um, but I, I like Kid Gohan's impact in a lot of these major fights. Kid Gohan, I still would argue, has maybe the best active skill in the game, which is completely game-changing active skill. Uh, when you get the heal and the guard and all those uh, good abilities. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, okay, 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 yes, yes. This is correct. Uh, I did a Dokkan Fest, like, the red coin LR list. 
and UI Goku was like fifth on there, and people are losing their minds, not realizing that Red Coin LR has just had fallen off dramatically compared to a lot of the other characters, right? Because like I, I'd have to pull, let me pull it up on the side. But people were cr- people were crying about that. UI Goku is five what? But it's like, dude, like I'm not a fan of like Int Vegito. I think in base, they're very unimpressive. The the Int Vegito and the physical Gogeta characters, they are not good enough before. Like, once Int Vegito fuses, he's that boy is fantastic, right? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, here it is, here it is. Well, although th- this is not the one that people were upset. Let me pull up the one that I saw people were upset about. It was the last one I did. So this would have been, what was this, the start of June I did this? So, like, UI Goku was three in terms of Red Coin LR, so that's what people were having an issue with, but... I'm not saying he's like, oh, he's like a top five unit in the game. It's just that all of the good characters in the game right now were basically like Dokkan Fest, TURs, Banner Units, Yellow Coin LRs and stuff like that, right? Um, Give me one second. One second. Let me just find this. Um, Okay, this is 200% leader skills. Okay, here. Well, yeah, but but yeah, yeah, that's the point. I, I, I feel like I properly rated UI Goku right here right here right um it's just that i think that they're like yeah i look at this i like it i probably would put yeah, i'd put namek goku above in vegeto now for sure i would i would especially vegeta and trunks i think helps this guy out a lot although th- this character's on vegeta and trunks's team too this character also works very well on vegeta and trunks's team that unit is just so crazy yeah look at this i like this i like this the only difference i would do here is i'd now slide namek goku above them that's the only real like change i would do at this point um, but people saw this and we're going crazy, right? Like we might be able to click on the quotes. Oh, thank you, Twitter. I appreciate that. We just can't see. But a lot of the quotes I remember were people talking about UI Goku. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fun for you, Sage Mode J. Not for me. Oh, 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 oh! God damn it! We're 26 minutes in the video. I mentioned in this video right here. But I, I forgot to mention it right at the start. I made this video, I was not counting LR Goku Black and Zamasu's EZA. My reasoning for that is, before I would place them, I want to take them on an extended world tour, right? Like, I want to get a good feel of... The thing about me ranking these characters, I'm not just looking at calcs on Twitter or watching a video of it. Like, I'm using the unit myself a lot. Like, that's how I want to be able to, to rank the character, Goku Black and Zamasu, they don't even come... They don't even come out tonight. Goku Black and Zamasu come out tomorrow. They come out on the 14th, right? So it's like, I made this video. I was like, all right, let me make this now. I'm going to not count Goku Black and Zamasu as easy aid so I could do this. Because by the time I'd be ready to do this with Goku Black and Zamasu, then LR Merge Zamasu is getting tweeted out like later that night, right? And it's, it's like, it's a never-ending cycle. So I wanted to do this now. Goku Black and Zamasu, from what I've seen... I think they could be as high as actually four. I do. They're probably like four to six range, but I want to use them first before I can really cement that. But I think LR Goku Black and Zamasu are actually like in this range, which is insane to think about, right? Um, maybe we'll end here. Uh, oh, 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 oh okay. <laughs> no, no. Uh, no, no way. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, but this is this is also a way harder and a way more subjective list. No. I, I don't agree with this. LR Physical Cell is very good. Um, but like, this this is where I think Namek Goku will start to be underrated. Namek Goku is a highly versatile character, right? Like, with his strong, very strong link set... Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, prepare for battles. Like, look at this Link set. Like, th- this is what you want on a top-tier character. Because what this means is, I'm um, pure Saiyans, Kamehameha, right? Battle of Fate, Bond of Parent and Child, Super Saiyans. You, like, this he, This is good everywhere, this Link set, right? Um, You are, of course, hoping, praying on your hands and knees that he gets these additional supers so he's good defensively. But, like, this is, I think, what can be very helpful with him is you can just sort of throw him on teams. Physical LR Cell, right, is very strong, like, when he's up with other big bad bosses, ultimate life form type characters, right? That's the thing with him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on.
Versatility is a huge factor for a lot of players in terms of being the best. Sure. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but nah. I, as of right now, I mean, we can reassess once more 200% leaders come out. But the thing is, is that with 200% leads being in the game, even free-to-play players can take these 200% leads and you can cream any stage in the game. Gets creamed. Creamed by a 200% leader skill. There's nothing that can challenge it. It's only the difficult red zone stages currently that could do that. Um, so it's like when you know, like Raccoon and Goldo on this Ginyu team, they will solo every single stage they could. So Planet Namek Saga, Super Battle Road, get absolutely just cream pied by them. Ginyu Force, you literally just auto, you, you auto it and you no item it, right? Like Joint Forces, like you go through so many of these stages, you just absolutely cream pie them. You could say like, oh, but you need a Ginyu for Joint Forces. Well, good thing that the LR Ginyu Force units got easy ace. You run this character, boom, and then next to like Tech LR Ginyu or Physical LR Ginyu, GG, GG, right? Like all of these missions for legendary Goku event, stuff like that, Super Battle Road Sages, Battlefield, and Red Zone, they destroy. It doesn't matter that it's only one team. Look at the vast array of content that this is obliterating. That's why like... Like, when you say they're not versatile, you're, like, that's wrong. They are. Like, the versatile content that they're taking out, right? Like, all these Super Battle Road stages, all this stuff. Uh, like, I, I feel like this character, this was one of the ones that made me frown, was people attacking Raccoon and Goldo. I saw a lot of people attacking Birder and Jace. And it's like, you're just not, I feel like, really attuned into how good these characters actually are. How dominant these units are. And it's like, yeah, they're on one team. I, I don't think that really matters when that one team destroys anything it, it could touch, right? At like, the thing I don't get to is people will cry and cry, you only have to beat Red Zone once. Well, dude, you only have to beat these Super Battle Road stages once. Like, wh why why does that matter when criticizing Red Zone but not the other content? Like, I don't understand that, right? Like, yeah, like, guess what? If you've already beat Planet Namek Saga Super Battle Road, which came out on JP before this character, why do you now need to take this character into that stage, right? Like, there's so many, like, like we're going in circles so many of the time, but I feel like this team argument right now doesn't really work. Um, maybe as more content is on the level of red zone or as there's, you know, 20, 200% teams rather than what, like the seven or eight we have, how many 200% teams are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 200% teams at the moment, I believe. Um, like that's... Yeah, like, Raccoon and Gold are only on one team. Okay, they're only on one of the nine teams in the game that matter. Like, it doesn't... Again, besides this guy, who's on... Let, let's count. So, he's on this 200% team. He's on this 200% team. Uh, he's on uh, this 200% team. He's on this 200% team. He's on this 200% team. Right? Outside of this guy specifically, like, other characters, you know, are on 80 teams. It's this guy who is. Not really a lot of other characters, right? Um, I probably should have read this whole comment before going on that long... Whatever, let's keep going. Uh, specific rotation. Yeah, that rotation is untouchable. Versatility that unit says the easy Super Saiyan 4s throughout the entire game is unmatched. Well, yeah, but I, I see, I feel like this is not correct, right? Because Raccoon and Goldo are better than the Super Saiyan 4s in Super Battle Road and in Red Zone and in Battlefield, right? So, like, I, they're better. Um, Coming from a non will POV, but I can see your side of the argument. Like, I, I get this. Like, that the thing about, like, oh, they're only on, like, this team or that team, though, I feel like that carried much more weight last year when, you know, 150%, 170% leader skills, that was the meta for five years, basically. We're in a new meta, a new way of going about it now, which is 200% leader skills, right? And there's only a few of those teams. I think, again, you know, we get another 10, 200% leader skills, sure. You know, we could talk, like, okay, like, Raccoon and Goldor are only on one, but, like, you know, all these other top characters are on three, four, five, 200% teams, sure. And keep in mind, a lot of these characters on here don't even have 200% leader skills. Um, Golden Frieza's not on a 200% team. Uh, you just got one. You have one. Janemba, Kid Buu. Yeah, so Golden Frieza, Janemba, and Kid Buu are the made oh tech ultimate gohan doesn't have one either yeah he doesn't oh my god <laughs> that's funny yeah uh oh goku and piccolo don't either right yeah they don't as well they're another top character that i think should get one 
Frieza has one, but it's not a great team for him, so I'd rather he get a better one. Kid Gohan does not have one, right? No. He doesn't. Okay. So Kid Gohan's another character I'd like to get one? Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be 20 to 40 times, right? Like, this is a meme comment, but yeah, it, it's if Namek Goku simply just triple supers, you know, three turns in a row, yeah, he's great, right? But, like, that's not. I'm not really, and I'm not really clapping back at Namek. I feel like Namek Goku stands correctly assess how good the character is. Remember, I'm basically, this video is also to a rebuttal to one YouTube comment that tilts me that says, he's obviously top 10. I said, oh yeah, let's take a look. Okay, this is a good point. Okay, take leaders going to consideration. Okay, because I did not really do this for this. As Christian is saying, I didn't do that, right? Um, if I did that, that would give a massive buff to the 200% leaders and then nerf every other character, essentially. So, like, Ginyu, I might swap up to four, right? And then, like, you know, the androids would drop. Golden Frieza would drop, right? Like, Raccoon and Goldo would drop. The LR Super Saiyan 4 Ezes would drop, right? Um, although, I mean, they are 180% to their respective teams, which is pretty good, right? But you guys get what I'm saying. I, I didn't... I'm not really taking leader skill into an account so much with these. So, like, that's a good point. Uh, I'm going to end the video right here. Grant, you're... Nah, bruh. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. All right, well, let me know what you guys think of the Namek Goku arc. Ugh, I think it's done. I think we, we've completed it at this point. I look forward to the next major controversial unit um, so we can do a million community reactions to that. <laughs>